So the little different setup today, we're doing Talking with Tim, but <laughs> I actually am leading it. My name is Amy Mansu. I have the honor and privilege to be the CEO of Inspira Health, and I also was the first person that Tim Jennings ever interviewed on this <laughs> Talking with Tim escapade. So maybe that's where we should start, Tim. This is the 100th show that we're doing, and we agreed that I would come interview you for the 100th in this series. So how did this all start? I mean, I, I obviously know you called me and said, let's do this, but what was your, um, what was your goal? So it really did start because of, uh, it's kind of a community thing, right? So I, I, I did, I joined a com uh, coaching community and that means you have a coach and, and, and the coach in that community said, what do you want to work on? And I said, accountability and my health. And he said, 30 walks in 30 days, go rock it out and put a video in the, uh, in our group every day so we can see what you're doing. I said, okay. So I did it. And it just kind of, it, it, caught, it caught some traction and I just started to feel like, wow, I, I, I could do some good with this, right? So on the last day, I get people were kind of yelling. Somebody yelled at me from the, from the sidewalk, hey, Tim, this is day 30, somebody new, whatever. And so I finished that video and I said, this, is, this has been really great and I'm gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna call it Walking and Talking with Tim. And I pointed at the camera just like that, which is where all the logos yep. came from, right? And so that's kind of the, the beginning of it. And then I was at the time president of the Chamber of Commerce in Woodbury. Right. And um, that's how we met. That's how we met. Right. And and being president, I, I it was still COVID and people weren't really out. And so my I was going out and walks by myself or with my wife or with, you know, um, my neighbor or whatever, something like that. But just anything just to kind of build confidence. I was trying to trying to do videos that would build confidence because people were kind of, I think, losing faith. Yep. Um, and I would do a shout out to a local business and things like that. And then, and then towards the end of all that, you know, um, I found out about the, the vaccine had come out right. for, 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 uh, for COVID. And, and I was watching you on yep. doing, doing little commercials. And I reached out to you and said, hey, man, I think it'd be great if we just did like a one of these. Like, you know, it's, it's a whole different thing to do a production and a commercial, but it's then, then to do something like this where it's organic and you're just having a conversation yep. to make people feel comfortable about and, and be able to ask a, ask a question about something that they don't understand. Well, and the thing that I was so, um, as I watched all 99 of them, you know, <laughs> you have brought different people to the table. You had all sorts of people who are giving and doing great things in the community. And I think it's what, exactly what you said. It's a reminder that, um, you know, really good things are happening. And while, we, you know, all of the headlines and all the social media stuff generally focuses on the bad, a lot of people are giving their souls every day to, to make it better, whether Amen. it be great stuff doing at Rowan or at Boys and Girls Club or um, Habitat for Humanity. I mean, all those organizations Amen. really are the are the backbone, you know, of all that we do and all that our communities do. So three cheers to you for giving people <laughs> a chance to tell their story. And that is it. And right. that hits the nail on the head. So that, so. I was, when we really got into it, I didn't realize what I was doing. So I didn't realize the impact it was gonna have. So when your interview came out and it got 7,000 hits on, on LinkedIn, I thought, oh, that's pretty impressive. So that's something I should keep doing, right? So, and then, you know, it kind of snowballed and Joe Devine says, hey, that's a great way to get the word out. Hey, Joe, you wanna do it? And Joe did it too. And yeah, yeah so, and it just kind of kind of kept, kept going. And what I learned was, that it was a great way, like you said, to, to, to tell other people's stories. Yeah. And, you know. Um, well, and also to, 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 for some of us, to show us about the little, the place that you live and all the great things that happen there. Right? I mean, you walked me to death that day and I didn't have the right shoes, just for the record. You know, for, my, the record. <laughs> for the record. I didn't even notice and, because I was a little gonna, nervous myself. Yeah. Well, and now today we're at this beautiful park, a national park. Um, which is the first time I've ever been here, and uh, it really is gorgeous. I don't know if you want to do a quick uh, yeah, we'll round, do a quick. So, we, so can... we're we're at Red Bank Battlefield National yeah. Park. So I grew up in National Park. So when I when I asked Amy if she wanted to do this, and she said yes, that's why we're doing it here because it's really a cool place, right? Well, it's, I mean, it's your history, right? Yeah, and it's my history. I've come here I'm too short, ever since so I was a kid, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, I'm just getting the shot in, but it's very cool and it's a fun place to to to, ha to hang out. If you haven't been here, I highly recommend it. But yeah. Look, you know, one of the things that, let's go, let's go that way, you think? Or this way, this way. So one of the things I learned as I was doing this, and this, I'll give props to, to, to Charlie Morocco, he said, because this is a really great way to network. I said, what are you talking about? 
I wasn't even thinking about it. I wasn't even talking about the company. I wasn't talking, nothing. I was just asking folks questions about their lives their, and what they want, yeah, and what they wanted to do. And, and you know, hey, what do you, what's the word you're trying to get out about what's important to you, right? And that was really the goal and that was, and it seemed to be, you know, um, somewhat popular with some people, right? They, 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 were, they, they dug it, they were into it. Well, because it's also, it was quick. You know, it's a five minute, I don't have to invest 30 minutes in it. It <laughs> really gives you the chance to, you know, get a overview. And that was, you know, fabulous. And, that, and that's what it came down to. And, and, and Charlie was right, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't even realize it, but I was making friends. Yep. So every time I've walked with someone, so a hundred interviews later, you know, I've, I've had a hundred opportunities to walk with someone and you know it's like an hour hour and a half yep. you know adventure with me and everybody that's walked with me knows that you know it's it's we really walk three miles and it, it is kind of an adventure right you never and know I, where you're gonna go you <laughs> never know exactly what's gonna happen along the way what the conversation's gonna be absolutely so, so it's fun i have a lot of fun doing it and almost everybody i've, I've interviewed said they had a lot of fun doing it so i just feel like you know this is it felt like it was my way of giving back you know, and, and giving people an extra spotlight, an extra voice, and just an extra platform, and, and just something that's fun. Well, and you and I have talked about this, right? At the end of the day, it's work. That's why it's a four-letter word. <laughs> but it really is about building relationships, right? And whatever you do, whether you're building them in a small way within your offices, or in your hospital, or building them with your community, which is what you have to do in yeah. these communities, because we, we all depend on each other. Like, our whole worlds are intertwined. And especially in South Jersey, I really have come to appreciate that and see that. Um, so you, you know, you have you brought people together, and we're we're building those relationships, and you then call on those relationships to make sure you get stuff done for other people. You know, <laughs> it's true. You know, I've I've interviewed almost every nonprofit in this area. I, I may have missed one or two, and if I've missed you, hit me up. But look, you know, I mean, it, again, it's it. I feel really good when I'm able to help give an extra or a little booster or just a small voice because you know I don't have millions of people following me but however you know it is still impactful yep. I find that I find that you know the engagement is impactful and people are interested in hearing about you know something that's a little more personal rather than oh hey Amy how's things at the hospital right. you know exactly <laughs> you know they, they want to know you know hey how's Amy yep. you know and that's 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 to me is what it's all about. That's the heart of it to me. Like, hey, how how's Amy doing? You know, and 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 and, and you know, not the CEO of, of, of the hospital, but, but how's the person? And what are you doing for fun? And like, you know, uh, how do you get through a hard day? You know, are those kind of questions where right, just for the record, this is about you. You're not going to change this about me, so I'm not answering <laughs> any of those questions. I'm not. So let me not ask. At all. No, but let's start. Let's have those conversations, Tim. As you think about. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about my own little world and the, the time we did that first interview to where we sit today, and the world is so dramatically Ugh. different. I mean, both good and bad, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, good news is COVID is something we just all live with, right? Yeah. And it's, even if it's a pain in the neck, we still live with it and people aren't dying. And so all that stuff is positive. Think about the changes in your life in that period of time. Your daughters have graduated from college. Yep. You know, um, you've got a, a new son-in-law. That's true. You know, I mean, uh, you know, your wife has come into the business with you. I mean, yeah. so much is, you could never have predicted that three years ago. Not even close. Yeah. And, and, and your reality is, it's because of what we all went through. Right. Like, we all went through this huge change, and, and we're all dealing with the outcome of that change, right? Yep. So, I got them. So, so, the, so the thing is, is, you know, I look at it as, look, we're in this, this post-pandemic world, right? And I think lots of folks are struggling. Yep. We you know, that, especially our kids and our seniors. A hundred percent. So what 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 I like to try to focus on is, is look, you know, you, you got to be cognizant. Please be cognizant of the fact that there's a lot of people that still can't handle what took place. There's a lot of co a lot of COVID PTSD and and all that good stuff. But the, our staff especially. Yeah. I think that that was, you know, the impact on healthcare workers and all the essential workers and the folks in the grocery store. And I mean, you know, yeah. a lot of people were were home and couldn't get out or could only get out for limited windows of time and other people were working harder than they've ever worked in their lives That's right. just trying to make it happen and so that disconnect of wow I had all this time to be able to spend with my kids and my dog and everything else to the people who are like I never got to see my family yeah. you know there is some of that stuff that's just you know, hanging around yeah, yeah. Uh, my, 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 my goal in this would be to encourage 
everyone who's watching this to listen, man, go back to the movie theater. Go back to your favorite restaurants. Go back to your favorite store. Include, as a matter of fact, your local store. You know, and go shopping again. You know. And if I could just add one thing. Jeff to that, Bezos is making enough money. I, I, I'm not <laughs> saying don't use Amazon, right. but for the for the love of God, please yeah. come back out in society and, and let's let's all come together again because it's it's missing. It's missing something. And it, and I would also say, and when you do that, be kind. Yeah, man. Right. Doesn't, doesn't you, cost a penny. It, do, it doesn't, and I'll, and I'll tell you, it gets you it gets you miles because everybody's on edge. Yeah, so you they know, are. So you 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 spout off, and then somebody spouts off back to you, and now you got all this <laughs> stuff, and it's just easier just to be kind to start with. Everybody's everybody's doing the best they can. I they know. really are. And you know, some days you'll say that's not good enough, but yep. you know, I think we got to meet people where they are and understand that it's you know it is hard. You know. My worry, Tim, is, is as you and I talked about, it's about the, it's about the kids, right? It's yeah. about how, how to help them, you know, not feel so isolated and, and make sure that they know they're not alone. Um, and I think that's a, a huge part of, of what we're trying to do as we come back into the world. Especially the kids who miss, like you said, miss out yeah. on on school and on and all the things I just mentioned. Yeah. You know. And who didn't get to go bowling? Who didn't get to have birthday parties and all that kind of stuff? Proms, Graduations, proms, everything, all of it. Yeah. You know, and it's just tough. And it's just tough. But you know, we have an opportunity now to change all that, right? You know, it, it, we 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 have to learn how to deal with living with what we got, right? And and, and make okay. the maybe an okay and make the best of it, and realize that you know, no matter what happens, sun's coming up tomorrow. It's a new day, it's a clean slate, and you can do whatever you want to do. It's a good way to, it's a good way to end that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it's, it's true. It is true. It is true. Yeah, and it, it, just those reminders and, and being present for the people that matter. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and, and I, I was telling you um, right before this is that my daughter's wedding, Sarah got married. Yay. Congrats to Sarah and Joey. Beautiful bride. Uh, <laughs> she was, and... and Look, you know, I put my phone down, and anybody who knows me knows that that's a that's a miracle in itself. There's a little sheet left here, but and um, I was present for the wedding. I was present for the reception. Um, you know, I, I don't, can see a bunch of people rolling their eyes at Tim being present, but I think what it's you know, true what, story. I know, and what I hear you saying is you set a priority. Yep, that was bigger than all of the noise coming at you. It's about being where you know, being with your family mom and dad were there like just being there because you know we don't get enough of those opportunities in life uh, we don't and you know what it was it was the greatest it was it was probably one of the best events that i'm ever going to experience as a father you know yep. uh, of course until Kristen gets married and see if she's that i'm sure it'll be equally as uh, as awesome Kristen. <laughs> it's probably gonna don't rush her, bust, don't rush bust her. my chops <laughs> about you know um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's so much fun to, to, to experience your kids growing up and these big occasions like that. Like, it's just, it's so impactful, you know? In fact, I, you know, in fact, like, I came to visit, um, Amy when I got back because apparently I had been, uh, I had done so much and whatever, I guess, and your I ended body, up in a hospital. Your body can only manage so much. That's the thing about bodies. They tell you when they've had enough and you were surely did. <laughs> Apparently, I did too. Yeah. So, but luckily, uh, it turned out not to be such a such a big deal, and, and things are good still. So, you know, that's where I am. And that's you know, that's a good place to be. It is a good place to be. You know, I think we all knew that 23 was going to be a transition year. You certainly called that as we, <laughs> you and I talked about the starting 23, and hopefully, as we begin to end 23, we can find those things to be grateful for and really look forward to 24. Um, and also sort of setting the tone for that, the next the next wave of things, next chapter, if you will. Yeah, man. Lots of new things to come. And keep your eyes peeled. I got some new things coming up um, in uh, 20, well, end of 23, beginning of 24. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So. All good. All good so, stuff. Congratulations on your 100th video, Tim. I'm <laughs> glad to have been part of it. I appreciate um, the warm welcome that you have given me since coming to South Jersey and really the friendship that we've developed. Amen. And so thanks for watching today's Walking and Talking with Amy and, uh, we <laughs> and, will, Tim. and Tim. And we will see you next time. Remember, keep walking, keep moving. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. 
and we will see you next time on Walking and Talking with Timmy.